Hi guys, I'm going to show you how to fix this horrible problem. All right, in your C disk, there's a folder named boot PCD, but it is hidden. The problem is that this file was erased, corrupted, or I don't know, whatever. So what you're going to need is Hirens Boot CD. You right here this in Google. Well, I have a tutorial, but probably in the next days I'm going to sh to upload the Hirens Boot CD tutorial. It, it's not very complicated. It's very easy. So you click in the link. Then you go to download. Come on, come on, come on. Fucking internet. It's just slow. Oh, damn it. Well, well, alright, it's ready. So, you're going to download the zip. Then, you need to download another. It's a universal USB installer. You go here and download it. Well, you just need to download this one, the executable. Now you will have a zip. Well, it is not this one, a zip that contains this so you extract and an executable you will need a one gigabyte usb or bigger i don't know whatever so you run this you agree then you go to the bottom and search for hidden's boot cd you select it now when you extract the information you will have an ISO so you search that ISO I'm already here you select this ISO I'm not going to create it right now because this is only how to fix the good PC thing in here you will have the option of, of the USB I don't have an, an USB connected then you will click on create it, it will show an a warning you just say yes and of course it, it is going to delete all your information so with that of course you are going to do this in another computer now you will go to the computer that have this problem and what you need to do is go access the videos and select to start with the USB. In every video is, is different, so I can certainly tell you how to access. For example, in this one, boot. Well, you just need to start the USB, right? You can search on the internet for your computer how to start from the USB first. Now, when you start from the USB first, and I was doing a test, so this is what happens when you run Hydrants. Well, when you have the USB and you run it as first, so you will run it. It will start your computer, your BIOS, whatever. Oh, come on. Why is this so slow? Excellent. So, you will have all of these options and you will select the first one. I will not select it here 
because these don't have an operating system yeah you select that one and your computer is going to start it will you will type your password and access to your session or well you will access that is the concept now the first thing you need to check is you go to start then here you will click on administrate disk administration now you will only have three partition this is because I have another operating system I have Ubuntu in here but well you, can, you will have this you probably have this this third as system reserved right now this process needs that you have your recovery if you don't have your recovery you will need to find someone with, with the same operating system for example I'm in Windows Home Premium so you will need for example for me you will search someone with, with Windows Home Premium and you will need to ask him to to the to the file that in a moment they're going to show you right so if you have it like here the first thing you need to check is that the C partition is marked as active this if it is in gray it's alright now if you have the one that it said it says system reserve you mark system reserve as active right now next steps you will run from the USB the USB will contain some of these files not all right you just need to run this one the menu you will go to programs, browsers, total commander. Right. If you have system reserve, you you put the recovery here and system reserved here. And if you don't have it, you just put the C. So if you got system reserve, you will have a folder named boot. And if you put the C, you will have also a folder named boot. So you access here, and in the recovery, you do the same. Here is the recovery, and you select boot. Now, this is the one that the system is not finding, finding right? So you won't have this into system reserve or the C but you will have it in recovery so you only need to drag this from here to here right I won't do it because it well I won't do it that's all so once you do that your computer will will be able to run to start without the error and you you will start windows normally the problem is that it won't really recognize your operating system so the next step is when you pass the via the the time that you can access the vias you you let that it pass and you start to press f8 right this is to to go to the advanced root options and you will select repair computer you will select repair computer oh where is the image oh here now it will start this process and it will say that it can repair nothing yeah thank you well, next you you will be here 
and you will not have a breaking system right here so you will click next and you will get to this menu you will go to command prompt yeah command prompt and you need to write this right so let's suppose that we are there I'm not going to, to introduce the command right I'm just going to write it at real c boot cd hrs yeah enter now next line well it will want to be that line I prefer to that you do this you will put cd and boot now you will be inside this folder and you just need to put delete vcd yeah you will delete it all right and next you put put track rebuild rebuild all right you can't do this process in in here for example that I put the uh, CMD you can put it in here it must be here if you don't do it do this here this process will not be useful right first because this instruction is not recognized and that's all my friends with this your computer will be fine so if you like the video like if you know don't i don't care so take care